Hello. Hey, how you doing out there? Are you blessed? Are you healed? Are you free? Are you saved? Ooh, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I Amen. hope you're saved out there. I truly do. Amen. Me too. And uh, you know, God is God is always looking for those who are saved. Amen. He's always looking for them, and He's also got it in His heart is for those who are unsaved as well. Right. Amen. And I want to just reiterate that. I want to make sure you understand that. That yeah, God loves even the unsaved. Amen. And he's always looking for the one, and so are Deanna and I. That's right. And we're going to, did you already say that? You're going to yes. give me an opportunity? Well, I didn't say that yet, but, oh, we, okay. but well, you will you, get the opportunity right. later on in this, if you'll that's stick right. with us. If you'll just yeah, hang stay, in there. Yeah. Stay, stay with us. Stay with us. That's right. Stay with us. We'll give you the opportunity of salvation. And yes. um, if you're looking for a church, we'll give you that opportunity. We'll give you that information. Absolutely. And, but we are so glad that you guys are tuning in with us, yes. Steve and I, on the 714, reading through the Bible in a year. And, that's um, right. It has been a wonderful time. It's been good. Um, it's 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 wonderful. Powerful. It is. It's been powerful. That's right. So today's Bible reading, um, we're going to expound on Proverbs uh, chapter sixteen, verses three. Right on. I'm going to start with chapter verse two, if you, if I may. Yeah. But first right. of all, I just want to say it's, it, we titled this "Roll Your Plans Over." Right now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's like a rollover plan. That's right. Right? I yeah. got you. Listen, all a person, in verse 2, it says, All a person's ways seems pure to them, but motives are weighed by the Lord. Hmm. Commit to the Lord whatever you do. Come on. And he will establish your, your thoughts. plans. Our thoughts. Well, my verse says this Commit your works to the Lord, and your thoughts will be established. Okay. I got yeah. you. Amen. <laughs> and, uh, well, we all make plans. It starts where? In the thought process, right. does it, does. it not? Yes, it does. And uh, God, God knows that. And I think what we're, I think in essence, right here, what we're talking about is God is saying this. Uh, he has a perfect plan for you. Come on! So whatever your plans yes. are, roll it over onto him. Roll it over to him <laughs> <laughs> right and on. let him establish those plans if it's part of his plan. So a lot of times we can get ahead of God too. We do and that. And so we need to be careful. That's why we need to always commit our thoughts, everything over to the Lord so that he can put us in the right direction. Because we have to remember this, people, that God's plan for your life is the perfect plan. Yeah. Not your plan, but his plan. I've made many of bad That's decisions. Right. Yeah, we both and, have. Uh, yeah. and, and because I didn't include God, so I didn't I, say, hey, God, what do you think of this? I didn't say, God, I'm just going to go, this is... This is my plan. I'm yeah. going to carry out with it. And yeah. listen, if you don't include God in your plan, That's right. it could go south. It could. Absolutely. And uh, most generally will. Well, and then and then when it goes south or it doesn't work out, you're disappointed and discouraged. Come on, Deanna. That's well, true. Well, you're discouraged oh. and disappointed because you didn't com roll your plan over onto God. You right didn't on. commit it to God Amen. first. The strong, <laughs> the, and the Strong's uh, Concordance talks about uh, to roll, uh, roll down roll away and even even remove so i think what i think what we're trying to say here is we we take those things and we roll them onto god that's right i like i like what you what you got here deanna talking about the other uh, camel oh yeah 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 all right we're in talking, genesis 29 3 yes yeah um it refers to the rolling of a stone of for the well's mouth in Joshua 5, 9, it says a, repro a reproach of Egypt is rolled off from Israel. Right That's what that Strong's number means to okay. roll off. That's to right. roll off. Yeah. The, the picture here is, the picture is, a, uh, is a, on a camel that's been burdened a he a, a, with a heavy load. With a heavy load, yes. With a heavy load. Woo! And then when you, when, when the load is, re when the load is to be removed, the camel, what does the camel do? He, he gets he, down he on gets his down knees. gets down on his knees. And he rolls the weight off. Or he tilts he to tilts. the side. Yep. To one side and the load rolls off. And that's exactly what God wants us to do. Amen. That's good. To know. kneel down. Come on. Hey. Roll our load, our load, our plans over to the onto the Lord. Amen. Metaphorically speaking, that is. <laughs> <laughs> and when we do this, our life purposes will come to fruition. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking. Metaphorically speaking. That's right. 
<laughs> that was that. from the yeah from the mask. mask. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, we uh we should always see and we can commit our plans. Absolutely, God says always here, commit to the Lord. Commit, commit our plans and purpose to Him. Yes. And the last thing we need to be doing is planning things out ourselves without Him. Listen. Well, what we do is, doesn't yeah, work. it doesn't work. It never does. It never did for us. Right. <laughs> it will work. Ah, and That's you end right. up again, like what Deanna said, disappointed. So what we're trying to say, what this verse is really trying to say, people of God, is this, is that just commit everything over to Him. Commit your plans. Roll it all over onto Him. Um, let God bring those things in. Well, everything. Is, yes. Everything. God says everything. Yes. When he says everything, he means everything. He says, I've given you everything. That's right. I will give you everything. I've already... Listen, God's got a plan for you, and his plan is perfect. That's right. And if you will just commit yeah. to that. That's right. If you commit everything that you think up in your head and commit yeah. it unto him, God will make... He'll make sure... Listen, he gives us the desires of our heart. Amen. He's not going to say, nope, can't have that. But he may say, let's do it this way. That's right. All right? He might, yeah. if, if we will allow him, yeah. right. he will lead us and guide us. And if we do things his way, success. Yeah, and I just want to say that sometimes our plan is the heavy load. <laughs> there it <laughs> is. We're going to roll load. that thing That's off. That's right. Because we try to make things happen ourselves. Amen. And you've ended up burden, burdening yourself That's right. with a heavy load. That's and right. Yeah. Load. So just the next time you got a plan or, or something, Amen. just roll it on over to God and let God, let him establish it. Let him establish you. Just let him bring that to pass or whatever plan it is. Or just pray and say, God, what is your plan? What is your purpose for my life? Amen. Just, yeah. It's just, and he'll let you know. Listen, as long as you're being led by him. Amen. We see, we see God's plan for our lives and uh, his, he'll bring it to fruition. That's right. If we'll amen. just wait. That's right. Them, right. That's right. Yes, amen. amen. So now, any of those out there, any of you, I should say, right. have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, we want to lead you into that prayer. If amen. you are willing and ready to take that plunge. If you will commit. If you com Yeah, commit to God. If you're willing to commit and serve your life now or live your life for God. Amen. And I'm telling you, when you do this, it will be the best thing that you've ever Absolutely. done in your whole entire life. Yes. Think your life will change for the better. Mm -hmm. And true. guess what? You know what else you get? Eternal life. That's that's a pretty nice package right there. Listen, Hallelujah. There's people I know that have said there is no life after death. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, yes. And I wouldn't want you to be surprised. If you're one of those that think that way, I don't want you to think, be surprised when you do and, pass away. Right. Uh-oh, I missed it. And guess what? There isn't a chance after you pass. Nope. There's no more. This All is those... the only chance you get is here on earth while you're living. So just take that step. Mm -hmm. We're going to lead you through it. Repeat after us. And then we'll talk We'll talk to you about And then you have to get hooked up into a church family. So, yeah, I'll, I most certainly will. And I and listen. Not me too. No, unless you want Yeah, to. I'll do it. Go ahead, lovey. All right, let's, let's do you, that. Bobby. If you're ready, let's just... Let's just... Um, you know, sometimes I've said this to people too. Even if you're not ready, say the prayer. Or you maybe say the prayer anyway. Sometimes I don't see, speak my words That's out right, right, but say the prayer anyways, and then maybe later on your heart will catch up with this. <laughs> That's good. It'll catch up. So Amen. what? Just repeat after me. I believe, I believe in my heart in my heart that Jesus died on the cross for me. That Jesus died on the cross for me. So that I could have eternal life with him. So I could have eternal life with him. I believe that he rose from the dead. I believe he rose from the dead. On the third day. On the third day. I receive you now, Jesus. I receive you now, Jesus. As my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. Amen. Amen. That's it. As simple as so that. Easy. You don't have to run 10 miles and do 14 right. jumping jacks it's just it's just a simple prayer amen. and guess what now you have eternal life and now if you did amen. say that prayer amen. please let us know our number and website will be at the bottom of the screen we're from resurrection life church in st louis michigan right. and we have a good pastor yeah, a best awesome pastor, pastor an on fire pastor Come i've on. said this before he he speaks with power he has a power word every sunday Come and hook up with us. If you can't hook up us bodily, look us up online. Amen. That's right. 
Make sure you let us know and hit that sub how you say that subscribe, subscribe button. Don't forget to hit That's that. That's right. Don't forget to hit that. Amen. The the yeah. number of the, the number of the church should be on this on the bottom. Did you already say yeah, the bottom of the screen? Yeah, it's already at the bottom. Of the okay, screen. so listen, contact us. Yes. Listen, if you just received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, we say Hallelujah. Hallelujah and too. We're yeah. Rejoicing right. with you <laughs> as they right. are in heaven. That's right. Rejoicing, rejoicing in heaven. Welcome too. to the party. That's right. Amen. In the family. And it's a good party. Amen. An awesome party. Right. Okay. Yeah. So listen, we love you. Yes, we do. We pray right now in the name of Jesus yes. that each of Thank those right now Jesus. that receive Jesus Christ, Lord God, that you would have a supernatural uh, encounter, that they would have an encounter with you, Father God. Yes. Mm. yes. You yes. would speak to them in the night, in their in, in the night. You would speak to them in the morning. You would speak to them, Father God, in the afternoon, and they would have this this type of uh, encounter with you that yes. they would know that it's you. Amen. Father God, each person that heard this word today, Father God, I pray, Lord, that yes, we, we, we receive it and we do think differently, yes. Father God, that we will roll our plans over unto you, yes, Father, God. that you would perfect their plans, <laughs> that you would approve our plans. Yeah. Mm, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. And that we would be that you you do give them uh, each of us, Father God, the desires of our heart. Yes. And Lord God, that as you take what, what we have in our plans and you perfect it, Lord God, you bring it to fruition. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Listen, you guys come back and join us tomorrow morning. We have another devotion. Absolutely. And come and grow and learn with Steve and I, because that's what we're doing. Yes. We want to grow in leaps and bounds. Yes, we Amen. do. All right. We love you. Have a great day. You too. All right. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Peace.